In this video, uh, we're going to take a look at how to reorder a list of items in Ionic 4. Uh, so compared to Ionic 3, uh, the way we do this is uh, a little bit different now. Uh, it's sort of moved to a more, I guess, web component oriented approach. Uh, so we're just going to walk through the differences uh, and how to do that exactly. So I just have a, a little test application set up here just with a, a standard uh, Ionic list. Uh, we're just using an ng4 to uh, loop over a list of uh, items we have set up here. And so what we're going to do is add the ability to uh, reorder that list. And then uh, we also want that uh, new list, the changes to that list to be reflected in the actual data itself. So setting up the actual reorder uh, itself is actually uh, pretty easy. Uh, all we need to do is surround our items here in a ion uh, reorder group. And then we just need to add the actual reorder uh, button itself, which is going to be the little uh, uh, sort of uh, menu looking button thing that sits over here that you're able to uh, drag. Uh, so to do that, we just add an ion reorder uh, beneath the label there. Uh, so if we save that now and take a look, hey, you can see we already have uh, what looks like a, a reorderable uh, list here. Uh, but if I try to drag any of these right now, uh, it's not going to work. Uh, the list is basically uh, frozen in place at this stage. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to change or not. It does strike me as a little bit odd that this is the default, but uh, by default, reordering on a reorder group is disabled. So uh, what you need to do is just add the disabled uh, attribute here and set that to uh, false. So now if we jump back into the browser again, uh, we should be able to drag the items around and you can see that we can you know, reorder them however uh, we like now. Uh, there is a little bit more to this uh, story though. Uh, so if we, uh, for example, uh, click, well, let's, uh, let's refresh, for example. Uh, so if I click the save button now, I can see uh, all this is doing is just logging out uh, this dot items array here. Uh, so we have Bruce, Ivy, Harvey, Jim, Lucius, and Victor. And so now if I say, well, I want to move uh, Victor to the top, I'll hit save again, uh, but you can see in our array, uh, it's still the same order that it was before. So there's probably very few circumstances where you just want to visually change the order of a list. You probably want to change the underlying data structure as well. So the way in which we can handle this is we'll need to listen for uh, events on this reorder group. And so this will emit an ion item reorder event. And what we can do is uh, trigger some function that's going to handle sorting that array for us. So let's uh, create a function called reorder items, and we're going to send the event along with that. And then we will just need to create that in here. And let's just take a look at what that event actually looks like. So we'll just log that out. Okay, so let's uh, just move an item, and you can see it triggers that ion item reorder uh, event. And this is the uh, data that we get with that. And so most of this uh, is sort of uh, irrelevant uh, to us, but what we are interested in is this detail property here. And you can see it says from three to one. Uh, so that's just explaining where the uh, element in the array has moved from and to. Uh, so to make this more obvious, again, if we move uh, Victor to the top and take a look at this, we should see because there's uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five uh, elements in this array, we should see uh, in this event that the detail will be from five, because it was in the last position, to zero. And you can see here that that's, that's the case. So now all we need to do is take that information and use that to reorder our uh, array. And we can do that using uh, splice. So what we want to do is say, um, we want to grab uh, an item out of that array and move it somewhere else. So we can say, uh, let item to move equal this dot items dot splice and I always forget uh, exactly how this thing works so it's handy to have this little um, uh, pop up here in uh, Visual Studio and so we have to give the start number uh, like the index in the array where we want to start this operation and then we need to give it the number of elements that we want to delete and then that's going to return us an array of the deleted items. So if we say uh, we want to start at event.detail.from, uh, uh, we want to delete uh, one item. And then in the uh, items that it's deleted, we only have one anyway, but we want to return the first of those items. So now this is going to delete that item from the array, and we're, uh, we're going to have a reference to it. 
Uh, so let's just have a look at that quickly. So now if I move uh, Jim, he just disappears because we're uh, removing it from the array, but we're not putting it back in where we want it yet. So as I drag these, they're all just going to slowly disappear until it's only Victor left. So now all we need to do is add that item back in at the correct uh, spot, which again, we can do using splice. So we'll say this dot items dot splice. And this time we'll say where we want to move it to. Uh, we don't want to delete any items. So we say zero and we can supply the item that we want to move there. So we'll supply item to move, we'll save that. And now let's try uh, reordering this again. So if I hit save, we can see the, the normal uh, order of the items there. We'll move uh, Jim to the top, uh, Bruce to the bottom, hit save. And you can see in the array here now, we have Jim in the first place and Bruce in uh, the last spot in the array. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please feel free to like the video and subscribe. And as always, you can check out the uh, description for links to my Twitter and blog and things like that. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.